Hello, hockey, basketball, and soccer fans. My name is David. Thought I would uh, start this video on this uh, third, on this mid-November Tuesday, North American Eastern Standard Time. So, definitely uh, in the short video about the uh, about m games on Monday Eastern Time, featuring the Raptors playing at home against the Indiana Pacers and Pascal Siakam, and the Oilers playing away from home against the Habs. Mentioned, you know, that hoping the Raptors would win, and and yes, the Raptors definitely did. Uh, be the Pacers, hundred thirty, hundred nine, thirteen, nineteen, I believe it was. And that's even with former Raptor Pascal Siakam in the in the Pacers lineup. Yep, does that mean the Raptors are going to uh, not finish dead last in their Eastern Conference? Doesn't guarantee that at all. But hey. It's a win's a win, right? And that's so important. I mean, it's important for development, for growth. Really hoping the Raptors will uh, go on a win streak. Because who knows? The next time, uh, the Ra who knows when that next streak will come. This Raptors team is rebuilding after all. So, I mean, a lot of close games and finally a breakthrough. It took a while, and there's no question that uh, that the Raptors definitely uh, need you know need that win. Next time the Raptors play, it will be later in the week. Just have to uh, just gonna check check when the Raptors next play. Be. It's uh, not until Friday Eastern time, whatever. Just gonna. Um, yeah, so the Raptors playing on Thursdays in time in a home game against the Timberwolves. And, uh, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely enjoyed watching the, uh, the Raptors. And also, in terms of the Canadian NHL teams, from most of any way, I kind of a neutral observer and indifferent in terms of the Leafs, because again, I just don't know what, what Leafs team you're going to get. I mean, so far, as for regular season, the Leafs are in second in the Atlantic Division. But again, I mean, given how they played the last three games, uh, two comeback wins, so I have to wait and see what happens the next time the Leafs play, and it'll be, against, be hosting the Golden Knights on the Wednesday Eastern Time. Whereas the others, against a not so good Habs team, ended up, well, kind of playing underwhelming. Watched well, a lot of um, live streams. And uh, one of them for the Dolly TV YouTube man uh, featured a claim by him that the Oilers had been quote cooked unquote. I'm not going to rule out the possibility of the, the possibility that the Oilers will see playoff action this season, but it's not looking good. I'd say the Oilers are mediocre. They don't really have good player. They don't have enough of the good players. I mean, I think of Winger for Stilipad Colson. And that moment, I believe it was like 2019, uh, I, Jeff World Junior Tournament, when he just, you know, he put up a point, at least one point in a quarterfinal game for the relevant Russian team. Looked good then, but the goal scoring drought for him has continued from the March 2023 game against South East Sharks, I believe, Sharks, I believe, was the last time he scored even one goal. Yes. Uh, you, know, you know, maybe you can have time to call him no goals in. <laughs> because, well, no one scored on the others. Think of that interesting uh, claim made in a, on a February 2023 edition of the uh, daytime via Sportsnet by Brian the Fan, Rick and Bourne Show by co host Justin Bourne. Of who, outside of the Leafs, Matthews, Marner, Neander, Tavares, Quartet, who was, quote, going to score, unquote. What were the others? No one scored. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, a major issue. No one's, uh, I lost uh, part of the game on uh, RDS, uh, a French language network, and basically the equivalent of TSN, owned by uh, Bell Media, as the English language CSN is, and... 
Also on Amazon, kind of different. I mean, like I, like I prefer when I basically I just still prefer like watching the games on actual actual traditional TV. But yeah, Amazon Prime will do its thing. But again, the Habs showed up big time, and good for them. They have a young team, still a team that's uh, building, or well, trying to build for the future. Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, the Habs remind me a little bit of the Raptors, and I mean, at least the Habs and Raptors know they were not good, and they're trying to rebuild for the future. But again, even you know, these you know scrappy, you know these uh, scrappy teams clogging any points, making games interesting and close. The Raptors had uh, so far this regular season. Well, so I'm going to um, so as of now, it's uh, no, uh, it's going to um, so yeah, the Oilers have issues and uh, be uh, playing a game on uh, Tuesday evening Eastern time against the Ottawa Senators at the Canadian Tire Center. And yeah, these Sens are going to, I believe, they're going to be very determined to try to, you know, put behind them that shout loss last weekend to the Canes. And no better time, you know, no better game to do so than against an Oilers team that was also shut out. So it'll be very interesting to find out what happens. There's no question that when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the Indian teams, well, the, the Raptors will not be in action, but their uh, terms of game is coming up on Tuesday evening Easter time. Uh, the Raptors G League affiliate uh, will be right, so, uh, definitely be in action. We will be against what's it, Capital City Go Go. Um, to be a G League affiliate of the Washington Wizards. So the Raptors will be continuing their road trip. It will be the last game of their, um, rather, it will be lengthy road trip. Um, it will be, yeah, at the Entertainment and Sports Arena in Washington, D.C. And, uh, and before a uh, pair of games against the Long Island Nets uh, on Friday and Sunday Eastern Time. So in terms of NHL, in terms of teams across the NHL, there'll be quite a number of others in action. Certainly, Amazon. There's only one Canadian one in action. So I'm just going to. Uh, I know the Oilers will be uh, in an away game against the Sens, and uh, yeah, so there'll be two Canadian teams in action a little bit later. The Jets will be hosting the will be a TSN broadcast of uh, the Jets away game against the Panthers will be starting up. And then a little bit after that, the Flames will be hosting the Isles. And in, if you've, in the latest of the games to have a broadcast start time, the Canucks will be ending their homestand against the, the New York Rangers. So I'm just going to do this. Alright, so we're just going to do this. And on that Canucks game, all right, let's see if there's anything there. I don't know. I know the Diener HD YouTube man uh, typically puts out videos uh, about the Canucks, uh, whether they win or lose. All right, oh yeah, why did I group Canucks over do this? A couple of uh, dually videos, one of them, about the Canucks having supposedly owned Connor Bedard. Uh, and then why the back and always do this. How to you know something that comes shots on goal and scoreboard, whatever. So very interesting video over there, Dear HD YouTube man. And then we have uh, I don't know. another from the Kettner Canucks YouTube man. Uh, after the post or what to do is let me figure out here.
Kind of told, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, so the other video is uh, JT Miller's Struggles. <laughs> so, video under 50 minutes with a live stream, but I wasn't really sure you know, after I found the video. Maybe I'll watch it a little bit later. There's no question that the that definitely when it comes to streakiness, there's no doubt a lot of Canadian teams have been streaky. The NHL teams have been streaky. So yeah, the Winnipeg Jets are still have a commanding lead in the you know in the you know in the central division. You know, first place maybe they're sort of hold on to, but in the top three divisional spot, I think the Jets are gonna have it. Just a question of in which of those spots the Jets will end up finishing in. Panthers will be a, a litmus test, at least winning at home. I mean, maybe like a, have maybe have standing cup implications. But again, let's face facts. The Winnipeg Jets have only won this many post-2018 playoff series. And yes, the Jets got to a conference final in 2018. But since then, the only win that they've had of a playoff series was a 2021 sweep of the Oilers when... When the two, two, two of those teams and the five other Canadian ones were placed into an into into their own division, and yes, only the Habs in in two thousand in that uh, north in that season in the North Division got to play a team based outside of Canada because of the COVID restrictions and all that. Thankfully, the following season from the 21, 20, 21, 22 NHL season onward. Canadian teams and those based in the contiguous United States have uh, have gotten to play each other, and that's so important. Yes, I know that uh, COVID is a pandemic. Uh, according to WHO, was declared finished in two thousand twenty three, but effectively, across uh, much of Canada, that had pretty much died down. Uh, but you know, kind of by March two thousand twenty two. Like more because of well, anyway. No, so I'm gonna uh, wrap this up. So, um, uh, do encourage anyone to uh, who likes the video to click that like button. It's uh, very easy to do, and it shows. It'll show YouTube that. I mean, there are people out there who like to uh, uh, watch content about uh, Canadian hockey, basketball, and soccer teams. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, indeed, when it comes to, uh, you know, definitely I've uh, come to, you know, gotten, come, become accustomed to watching uh, the, not just the Raptors, but their G League affiliates, Raptors 1905, we're going to as I possibly can. Yeah, so, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please feel free to do so. Subscribe is very easy to do, it means either... You know, you have an easier time of finding videos that I, that I uh, put out. If you really want more info, if you really want to uh, find, have an easier time finding my videos I watch, and you like the videos I watch, I do highly encourage you to click that notification bell. I do try to put out videos multiple times a week, whether short or long ones. And on that note, I'm going to say good afternoon, and and also... Definitely look forward to watching some hockey and basketball on this Tuesday evening, Easter time.